Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am not the youngest, nor am I the oldest here. I am not the first to complete this journey, and there will be many more. I was asked one of those proverbial questions by Nikki. Nikki with two Ks, a classmate of mine in the business organizational behavior class. What was I going to do next? I won't say what I told her right then. After contemplating about it a couple of days later, this is what came to mind. Another one of those catchy proverbial phrases. I'm going to Disney World. You know, like everyone who wins a championship or complete some great accomplishment such as this one. And I'm going to ride the biggest, tallest, and fastest roller coaster made of hard wood that I can find. You see, because life is like a roller coaster. It takes you through many ups, downs, and turnarounds. By completing my first degree here, at Southern Crescent Technical College, I have built that hardwood foundation to continue building my roller coaster, which will withstand the test of time. We know all too well that sometimes on the road of life, we can see the playground, but have no money to get in. Even after getting into the park. You run over to the roller coaster only to be stopped by the park attendant asking you of all people to step to the side, stand next to the ruler mounted on the wall so you can be measured only to find out that you do not measure up. As life has it, and it should be. You keep persisting and laying down that hard wood foundation of life. Because you know that with a degree from Southern Crescent Technical College, you can and will measure up. Then one day, you find yourself on the biggest, tallest, and fastest roller coaster of life. As the car slowly pulls out of the station onto the tracks of life, ascends up that mountain, you look up and then back down and think to yourself, oh my God, why did I leave the house? Why did I get on here? Why is it going so slow? And a million other frightening thoughts, doubts, worries, and fears run through your mind. You reach the top, you look down. It's all downhill from here and fast. But you know that with a degree from Southern Crescent Technical College, down is not down as we know it. It's just the road to you building your next life roller coaster even better, bigger, taller, and faster than the first time. I would like to thank our president, Dr. Alvita Thomas, for having some of us from the business management program be her guest at the 40th annual Atlanta Business League luncheon. Her faculty and staff here at Southern Crescent Technical College for making me feel so welcome and giving me a home for the past three years. To the business department headed by Dr. Michael Cook. Thank you and in a word of gratitude.
Dr. Avery, you can have the library all to yourself now. Dr. Ellington, I will always remember to do my A, B, C, Ds, and Fs. Oh, and that I only have two minutes for this speech. Dr. Steincliff, life should always be like a Christmas memory and as smooth as sunny blue. Too kind, take me home. Dr. Amaro, it's easy peasy, but the hard part is staying straight and level. Dr. McCoy, you psyched me into thinking that I am a scholar and that I should stay on this roller coaster. Mr. Jester, what should I say? Miss Garcia, accounting? But what about my checkbook? Miss Adams, which sector of the pie should I serve? Mr. Casey, now I know how to get the answer to pie. Take it out of the oven and eat it. A special thanks to Mr. James Taylor and Mr. Daniel German of the Math Tutoring Center. Without each of you and my classmates, especially that team project class, I would not have been able to build my roller coaster on a solid hardwood foundation. It is unprecedented time like these which gave me the opportunity to use the knowledge, skills, abilities, and competencies which I acquired here at Southern Crescent Technical College to write, produce, and present this unofficial commencement speech to the class of 2020. So I say to the class of 2020, roar on tigers, roar on. Like your roller coaster, roar on tigers, roar. And may God keep each of us in this time of crisis. Thank you very much.